What's up guys? We're back with our on-demand class for M30 body weight and minimal. We are going to start out with a four minute warm up. So join Jen and I as we go through the following movements. We're going to be doing six arm circles forward and back. So six forward, then six back, right into 12 bicycle kicks total. So Jen's going to lay down on the ground here. She's going to be putting that elbow to the knee and we're doing 12 total. So it'll be one, two, three, all the way to 12. And then rolling on over to six upward to downward dogs. So pressing your chest up to the floor and then transitioning to a downward dog, back to that upward dog position. Perfect. So we're gonna do that on a four minute clock. We'll hop on up, get the clock started here. And we'll start in five, three, two, one, go. So last week, Jen talked about making sure that you are almost like swimming. So having your hand motions moving with those six. And then when we go backwards, same thing. So we got six of those. And then we're headed to the ground for those 12 bicycle kicks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Then rolling on over to our six. We got upward, transitioning, pressing through. My back just cracked. And then we're coming back down, pressing up, transition. Good. Back down, up, transition. Good, that's three, halfway. Transition. Good, down. I think that was five. And then transition, one more. And then transition. Good, you can walk your hands to your feet. Then we're gonna stand on up and we'll go back to those six arm circles forward. We have some chair dips today. If you are going to be doing our body weight or we have some shoulder to overhead. So really wanna warm up the upper body and as well as our lower body because we got some lunges. We also have some mic problems. <laughs> we also have some core work. So we are gonna do those bicycle kicks. We have 12. Jen's gonna count us off. Mic. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right guys, we got about 90 seconds left in this warm up. So we got that upward dog. Kicking it back to the downward dog for one. Good, come back down, up, transition. On that upward dog, I would mention like keeping your shoulders back and really opening up your chest. So think about keeping your shoulders back and lean with your chest here and then push forward. Good, so if you didn't hear Jen, she's talking about in that upward dog, we wanna keep our chest and shoulders back and then pressing through with the head through the shoulders. I think we have one more. <laughs> Up, press through. Good, walk those hands to the feet. Stand up, don't lose your mic. All right guys, we have about 30 seconds or so. So let's just go ahead and get a couple more arm swings. Yes, only one dumbbell today. All right, we will finish out on the ground with those 12 bicycle kicks. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome! Right at the four minute mark. So nice. All right, so we just got M30 body weight and M30 minimal today. So we're looking at a 10 minute AMRAP for each of them. AMRAP meaning as many rounds and reps as you can get through in that 10 minute window. So for our body weight, we are gonna do 20 step back lunges. These are just gonna be body weight and that is total. So Jen's gonna tap that knee on the ground, standing all the way back into the full hip extension. Perfect, so all the way down, stepping up. So that is one and then two, so 20 total. And then she's gonna do 10 chair dips. If you don't have um, a bench or a box at home, feel free to literally use a chair. She's going to keep her chest tall. She's bending her knees, that's make it a little bit easier. We're gonna go all the way down to where her elbow and shoulder are parallel, and then all the way back up to that full extension. Back down. Yes, so make sure you did your warm up. Um, from there, she's going to hop onto the ground for our Russian twists. We have 20 of those. Tapping each side, so it is going to be 20 total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. You see her feet are off the ground. If that is too challenging for you, you can try keeping your heels down, maybe alternating between one heel being off the ground and practicing just kind of how your balance is going to work there. Good. And a good little hack for that is on the Russian twist to make sure that you're kind of keeping yourself honest and self-accountability. Keep your hands locked or hold, held together at some point so you know you're getting that full rotation over and really engaging the obliques versus just one of these that we tend to do when we get tired in an AMRAP. So um, keep your hands locked, make sure you're getting that full rotation. Yes. Great news for my minimal people, you will have a dumbbell, so <laughs> we'll spice it up a little. So our M30 minimal today, again, that 10 minute AMRAP, we're gonna have 20 single dumbbell step back lunges total. As you see, Jen has positioned the dumbbell on her shoulder. So if you're gonna do it that way, I'd recommend you do 10 on one side, flip that dumbbell to the other side, and do 10 on the other. That way we just kind of have even on the shoulders. You can also choose to, if you would like, you can hold that dumbbell in a goblet position or straight across or place it on your back, back racket, whatever's gonna help you stay balanced whenever you are going back, tapping that knee to the ground, standing all the way up. Yeah. And then she's gonna have 20 single dumbbell shoulder to overhead. So the reason why I wouldn't recommend holding that dumbbell here is you're about to have a lot of tired shoulders. So she's gonna do all 10 on one side, all 10 on the other. Now with this shoulder to overhead, Technically, you can strict press it. I definitely wouldn't recommend. Um, we'd recommend the push press, which you just saw Jen doing. She's just gonna dip and drive and keep those legs locked out at the top. If you really need to, you technically can push jerk it where she's extending and then re-dipping underneath that dumbbell. Um, I would prefer that maybe you drop the weight and try to just do those push presses. So we got 10 and 10, and then Jen's gonna hop on down to the ground. She's gonna drop the weight and we're gonna do 10 dumbbell Russian twists each side. So her count might be one, one, two, two. Um, if you don't count that way, you can also do one, two, three, all the way to 20. Either way, we're gonna get 10 each side. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'll be doing body weight today. Jen's gonna do minimal, so follow along. Set your clock to 10 minutes. All right, you guys are getting started here. In six seconds, five, four, three, two, one, go. If you are following along with Jen, you're picking up your dumbbell. If you're following along with me, we're just getting right to it. Well, because you got that 
Dumbo to keep her in that position. Jen's gonna hold on to that dumbbell. She is gonna do 10 single dumbbell shoulder to overhead while I get 10 chair dips. There we go. If you're on body weight, you're gonna just do the body weight Russian twist. Finishing up with Jen, you got the dumbbell. You can switch to a lighter dumbbell just like she's doing. We're gonna keep our hands together, our hands on that dumbbell. All right, we're looking at about 90 seconds, so Try to keep moving at that pace with this AMRAP. We don't necessarily want to slow down any. Let's try to get through another one in about the same time. heels on the ground to do those Russian twists. That's great too. You can lift one up. You can practice trying to lift the other up. Find your balance there. Even if it's just for a little bit and then you set them back down. All right. Good job team. You guys, we are halfway on the clock. Great job. Looks like we're heading into our fourth, fourth round. Yeah, <laughs> kind of lost track. Oops. Step back. Half 
halfway if you're doing body weight with me. Focus, even though you're getting tired, try to keep good form. Really think about where you're positioning yourself. Good job. You'll see Jen's going to do all 10, then she's going to shake it out. So don't be afraid to set that dumbbell down. <laughs> You'd be impressed. Good job, Jen. Starting that light of dumbbell. Doing good. She's gonna make it through and she's gonna get back to those lunges. I don't know if she wants to, but she's gonna do it. <laughs> One minute. Oh, I can't rest at the top. I'll tumble over. Definitely a rest at the bottom or. <laughs> yes. Rest on the ground. Is that a <laughs> 30 seconds, guys. Cheer Jen on so she can get to those step back lunges. <laughs> Yes, she's got it. She's got 12 seconds. See how many she can get in. Yeah. And we got three, two, one. Hey. How many? That's good. Reps? Yeah, uh, well, how many of those last one, the last reps? Um, we have to watch the tape. <laughs> <laughs> we were just, we were just going. All right, so. Finish up that AMRAP if you started your clock late, weren't going along with us, but we're gonna hop into accessory. Being that this was only 10 minutes, we got some more time left in our 30 minute window. 
we're gonna do accessory work. So for today's accessory work, we have three sets of 10 reps on each side for these movements. So we have a windmill. Um, you can do these body weight. You can go with that lighter dumbbell um, if you would like. We're gonna do 10 windmills each side. As you see, Jen is keeping her legs locked out and then extending and turning her core to where she's able to touch the ground, coming all the way up. And something, going back to the 10 minute AMRAP, we're breathless Yeah. In those 10 minutes. So just something to think about, in those 10 minutes that it would typically take you to drive to a gym, you think, oh, I don't have time, you can have a full workout, a breathless workout, and you can run in your car. Yes. It's so good for like time saver, Busy lifestyle, all those things. And you don't have to have a dumbbell. You can do. Yes. No, love it. And then we got 10 Bulgarian split squats. So Jen's going to show us what that looks like with a dumbbell and a bench. Um, so she's going to prop her back leg up on that bench. And then we're going to have a very stable positioning, OK? Because it's going to be a single leg movement. She's coming all the way up. Now, if this is super challenging for you, whether that's balance, strength, we can set that dumbbell down and we can just practice. Place those hands on the hips, nice and controlled. And then we're also gonna show you an option in case you don't have a chair, don't have a bench, but you still wanna get that single leg working. It's gonna be a little bit more of a split squat from the ground. You're gonna, again, still have that narrow stance like you would on the bench here. It's gonna be more of that pulsing where it's all the way down, all the way up, down, up. So just like Jen's doing 10 on that side, um, on the bench, I'll do 10 in that position, switch to the other side and 10. Then we got 10 bent over rows. If you joined us last week, you saw those. Um, so Jen's gonna find a sturdy position to place her non-dumbbell hand, and then she's driving that back um, elbow towards her hip. As you did hear her say last week, you wanna keep that neutral spine back flat. So try not to be looking around, really focus. We got 10 on each arm before switching. All right, and then for me, I'm gonna go get my uh, milk jug. Because <laughs> I did not get that. Laundry detergent. So we're going to go ahead, now this is not in a certain time domain, so we do want to keep and make sure every rep looks good and pretty, um, but Jen and I are going to do each of these things relatively together. Um, she'll do some that have weights, and I'll do the body weight version. All right, so we're going to start with those 10 windmills, so whenever you're ready. <laughs> Sorry. So as you saw with Jen, she might have a limitation on one side. That's totally okay. She's just gonna go ahead and adjust by setting that dumbbell down. And then on the other side, she'll test out her abilities, see what she can do. And then if we have these windmills show up again, we'll be able to see how much she's grown in that ability, see if she can add lighter weight to the next time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, ten. Good, we're going to get to that bench. So you can do Bulgarian split squats. Jen is gonna go with that 35 pound. You pick whatever weight, whether that's just your body, practicing balancing. We got 10 each side. Still in this position, if you're doing the body weight version with me, similar to those step back lunges, we're lightly tapping our leg on the ground, coming right back up, trying not to bang it against the ground. 
Jen is actually not going to tap her knee on the ground, but she is going to get as low as she can in that single leg position. You can hold the dumbbell in that arm. If your shoulders can handle it, you can even hold it up in that front rack position again. Don't think I would recommend that. And then from there, we have our 10 bent over rows each side. So if you're like me and you have a household item, you're gonna do the same thing as Jen, but just with our item, whether that's a milk jug, laundry detergent, lunchbox, whatever you got, still building that strength. And to think your accessory work is more about quality than it is about the quantity that you would see in the AMRAC. So in the AMRAC, you're thinking quick, you're thinking explosive. This is building the strength so you have the ability to go quick. So don't try and do these 10 as fast as you can. Yes. Nice and controlled. These sort of accessory things, like Jen is saying, will make you successful if you weren't able to do the pull-ups in you know, last week's that we did. Work on these dumbbell rows when you see them come up in accessory. Work on those things, okay? So we're headed back to those windmills here. We got 10 again on each side. Jen's gonna do the body weight rows. <laughs> All right, one, <laughs> two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, switch to the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, almost there, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Good. We're going to those Bulgarian split squats now. Maybe you did minimal for your workout, but that was tough with those step back lunges. It is okay to just do body weight, even if you did minimal in the workout. Um, we just want to make sure that you're still doing some sort of accessory. Go to the side. For sure, same thing with these body weight. Um, still trying to track the knee over the toe as opposed to some wonky thing like Jen was saying. Good, we're at seven, eight, nine, and 10. Jen may have done one extra <laughs> to stay in line with me. Then we got our bent over rows. Good, switch sides. Halfway. Good. We're on to our last How's row. This is good. This is challenging. You can fill up a full milk jug. You can also do an empty carton if you want to <laughs> want to deceive people, but that thing is full of water. So um, we're doing our last round here of these windmills. So really focus, get all ten of those in. Like Jin said, keep it nice and controlled. It doesn't need to be a crazy speed to be efficient. After those lunges and the split squats, can you feel it? Yes, and in yep, for sure. Even marketing. Yes. I believe it. Yes, I was going to say two more. Right, and ten. Good. Switch. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six. Last couple. And last one. Good. All right, we have our Bulgarian split squats. Now listen, Jen is using a 35. I know I mentioned you could just go you know, body weight on it, but you can also drop the weight, just like Jen used a, a lighter weight for her Russian twists. If you have ex uh, accessible lower weights, um, don't feel like afraid to drop the weight as well. Couple more. Switch. To finish out with those bent over rows. Any of you guys like Bulgarian split squats? I mean, are they something that you look forward to seeing in programming? Because for me, I feel like I'm. Yes, absolutely. Oh, you're going to see great things. <laughs> but daring them, that's very. Oh. And that's what we're here for, right? Yes. The results more than the enjoyment. <laughs> Good. Last side for these dumbbell rows, or milk jug rows. <laughs> All right. All right, way to finish up. Yes, total body. Um, so between that 10 minute AMRAP, the accessory, you should be feeling good. Sweaty, challenging, only 30 minutes. We do want to finish up with the stretch. Won't be as long as last week. Um, we're just going to set the clock here to three minutes. We're going to do a pigeon stretch. We went over this last week, but just in case you missed it, with that pigeon stretch, you want your ankle and knee to ideally be in line so that you are in a 90 degree angle starting that clock. We're going to do one minute and 30 seconds on each side. Um, and then, and then we have 10 alternating scorpion stretches, which we'll show you what those look like. Um, either way, like Jen was saying, this is 10 minutes and still sweaty, still great workout. Um, something you don't even have to leave home for if you don't want to. If you have the equipment or you don't, there's an option for you. So definitely challenge yourself, get through this workout. Um, you won't regret it, that's for sure. We're looking at one minute left in this pigeon stretch. If you didn't see our discussion last week, the back leg is primarily with your foot, um, the bottom of your foot facing straight up. So Jen's giving you a little bit of a better view. But that's going to place you more on top and you're going to be able to really get a better stretch than if you were just out here to the side. Um, so hang on, do that. If you can't get your foot and heel all the way to where they're in line here with your knee, you can bring it in a little bit, but we really want to work towards that full pigeon stretch. We have 15 seconds left. 10, 9, and 3, 2, 1, switch. Hip 
more yes. angled in. And that is or okay. Come down completely, but just try and keep your hips square. Yes. So like we were talking about with the windmills, if you have a limitation on one side, it is okay to kind of alter the movement in order to, to get you into some sort of position to get you there. Um, some sort of position. position. Yeah. <laughs> You don't have to follow directly along with us if you have something. In Jen's case, is a great example that you're nursing and trying to get back to health. So we are at 30 seconds left in this one. Push through. You can lean over it if you feel comfortable. You're able to feel more of a stretch that way. Perhaps you feel a great stretch without having to lean over. All right, we got 15 seconds left, guys. 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one. All right, we are gonna lay on our stomachs because that is gonna be how we finish out the workout today with 10 alternating scorpion stretches. So you're gonna see you're going to hold hands with your partner. You're going to see where our hands are stretched out. We are going to take our opposite leg and try to just get it as close around here to that hand as possible. Maybe pause for a second and then back to that uh, neutral position. Same thing on the opposite side. We're doing 10 total. So all you got to do is get five on each side, trying to get a little bit further back as you move through this. You should feel a nice stretch in your lower back. Is that four? Three? Four? Okay, we're at six. Yes, it's ten total. Okay, we got eight. And Last one on this side. And then last one. Woo! Good work. All right, you guys, so make sure you tune in. We are coming with on-demand classes, so. And remember, comment if you're arrested at the top, arrested at the shoulder, arrested at the bottom, and if you like Bulgarian split spots. Yes, let us know. We will see you next week.